This is Mr. Ridley at the York Catholic District School Board. In this tutorial, we're going to go through with the VEX VR, both in the block coding and in Python, generating a circle, something like this. This will also work with C++. Um, you just have to use a for loop in the C++. We'll go out the, uh, talk about that a bit later. But right here, what we're doing is we're going to drive the robot forward to this position, turn the robot 90 degrees, come across this position, and then it's going to generate the circle coming around. The circle going around, I have it currently set to 10 degrees and 36 repeats. So it means it's going to go 10 degrees, 36, all the way around 360 degrees. It turns out nice and smooth. If you want, you can change that, that value from 10 degrees to 5 degrees, but then you have to change your angle, or sorry, your repeats to 72, because it the whole point behind that has to equal 360 degrees, so it comes all the way around. So if you look here, this concentrate on this side here, I'm using rate, I'm using variables in this setup. So I've got three hundred the radius to three hundred. That means I can come in here, I can change this number to anything, and it will switch and change the whole program for me, which is nice. The repeats I got to set to 36. I've got pi, of course, there, and I've set my 10. So these two numbers right here are the first, really the first ones you have to establish. From these two numbers, I'm setting the drive velocity to I'm going to set it to a hundred thousand percent doesn't make too much sense. Um, this this particular move right here is moves the robot to the very top of the circle. So it moves the robot to this position. So you can change that to whatever you want, um, depending on your application. But in this case here, I'm moving it up 170, 1175 millimeters, turning it 90 degrees. I'm moving 80, 875 millimeters to the center. Then I'm setting my pen color to blue. I'm moving my pen down. Now, this is the part right here that I've changed in this particular video. This is a repeat loop. This would be a for loop again if you were doing a C++, but we're using repeat. You can see it's grabbing the repeat. It, this is, it's, the repeat here is a, is, a, is a variable that's been set already. And you can see there it is there, repeat. So I just, what you do is you drag, once, it, once you make a variable, I made these variables. And once you make these variables, they then become they're here. And then you can grab them and use them at your leisure. Then what I did is I, I created a, a function over here. And by coming up to the top, whoop, where's my function blocks? Down, here you go. I made a block, I called it create a circle here. And then what I did is I dragged it up here, put to the, put this one here, dragged it to create a circle in the center. And now what it's going to do is it's going to calculate this. It's going to do this each time it gets to here. So it runs down through here. It says, okay, create a circle. What does create circle mean? Jumps up here and says, oh, this is what they want to do for create circle. Creating a circle, I brought, dragged it in this in. Then, I, then you can see where I've grabbed one of these from here. And from there, I used 2 pi r divided by the repeats. So that's how, so 2 pi r gives you the circumference and divided by the repeat number, which is this number here, 36, it then knows how far to drive forward each time. And you can see here, turn right for nine, for, for whatever degrees. So you guys, here you go. So this is saying turn right for 10 degrees. So it's grabbing this variable is grabbing from here. Uh, this variable is here, of course, the radius it's grabbing from there and the repeat is here. Now, when you drag these ones in, this is a little fussy here. When you drag this in, you gotta be, you gotta be careful. What it, what it kept doing to me is it kept putting the repeat down underneath and I had to play with it several times. You, I think I ended up dragging it in directly above, but it should look just like that. If it looks like that, it will generate this code and it will work. Tested it quite a few times, it works well. It's nice using the variables. It's nice to simplify things with, with, with the math because then you can go in and change things whenever you like. You don't have to keep changing the whole entire program. It's a much, it's upfront, it's a lot more work, but then once you get it, you, you do that, then it's much easier to change on the fly. Now, if we go in and take a look at the, this code here, again, same thing. I'm declaring my variables up here, so they're all set to zero. One of the things you'll notice is this is pushed in here. Uh, this is, so with Python, it doesn't have um, semicolons at the end. So to tell the computer where the next line starts, it starts by doing it. it indentation is very important in Python. So without this, if this is back here, it'll fail. Same with these ones here. So we've got all my variables set here, or at least declared. You come down here, global my variable, comma, I've got them all declared in here. So 
I repeat this number. So in this particular one, this is this is the create circle one right here. This is this is the main one right down here. So what we're doing is I've got my radius set, I've got my repeat set, I've got my pi set and degrees. It's all set there. Declare it up here and then set down here. Drive the forward, drive forward a thousand percent. That doesn't make sense. I would change that to one hundred percent. Um, this moves the robot to the, this part moves it to the top of the circle. So it comes in here, it drives forward just like before, turns right, goes 90 degrees, goes forward for 875, turns the pen blue and drops the pen down. And then this is the repeat move down here. So you can see the repeat and how many times is it going to repeat? Because you know, you can see it's a variable. So if you come up here, you see it's going to repeat 36 times here. So you can look down there and you can see the different variables that I'm using throughout that line. So for repeat in range of 36, create this circle. What is the create the circle? It says, well, what's that? That is up here. So it jumps up and says, this is it's kind of almost like a, um, a fun, it's almost like a function in C++ where you, the functions, it calls the function here and jumps up. It's sort of the same idea, a little different, but um, and I'm probably using the wrong terminology, but that's okay. So here we drive forward 200 and you can see the calculation, two pi r, divided by repeat, right? So it goes, it goes here, it takes the two pi r, divides it by repeat, comes up, gets all the variables from, from here actually, it takes the variables from here, and then it says, okay, and turn right how far? 90 degrees, because I got it set, or sorry, 10 degrees, because it's set down here. So that's how this works, that's how that calculation works. So forward, two times pi, times the radius divided by the repeat. You could change that around a little bit and probably end up with the same results. But nevertheless, that's that's the formula I used and, and it seemed to work. So if I go here now, I'll see it come up. Now I'll make one change just to show you. So that's going to the top of my circle. So on your drawing, you would figure out where the top of the circle is and then move from there. You'll find a little different with the VEX robotics when you're running it on the floor. You've got friction to deal with. You've got battery to deal with. Um, you've got dirty floors sometimes. So it may not be as, as repeatable if you're just doing it with the motors as opposed to the gyro sensor. Or So now you saw what I just did there. I'm going to come back in here now. I'm going to change the radius to, let's go with 300. 300 on the radius, and let's change the re these two numbers right here. It's important I change these two numbers to match 360 degrees. So if I go five here, and I take this one to 72, now what'll happen is it'll do a larger circle with more more turns, a little smoother. You'll see it just a little little bit smoother. So maybe when you're working with your robot on the floor, maybe you want to do that. Maybe you want to slow it down, slow it down a lot. Maybe you're looking for repeatability. Slow it down quite a bit and then and then run the circle. So you can see they're much, much different in the way it's turning. It's not so erratic. It's also important to slow the velocity down quite a bit here for repeatability because it's doing all these turns. So if each turn can have an added um, error in it. Okay, so that's it. Hopefully that uh, makes sense. Thanks for watching.